welcome to match week 34 of the Sky Bet Championship where Brentford need to slay Fulham in a London derby in order to keep up with the top six. Ollie Watkins and Tariq Fosu Henry miss two good chances for the bees. And of course, top goal scorer Alexander Mitrovic only needs one to score his 23rd goal. Emiliano Martondes is denied by Rodak and the next attempt flies into the post, but it's just an indication that it's not Brentford's day. Fulham are unstoppable after the break, and Ivan Cavallero doubles their lead. Substitute Mbomo cannot score either, but after 17 minutes, Oli Watkins finally does find the net. Brentford wish to save a point, but Camara has none of that. 1-3 case closed. An extremely frustrating afternoon may have cost Brentford a possible playoff spot. 1-3. Hull City welcome leaders Bristol City to the K-Cup Stadium, but it's David versus Goliath. Elias Sol and Jamie Patterson only need 30 minutes to get the job done. Victory for the Robins. Leeds travel to Swansea where they dominate the game but Freddie Woodman is once again in great shape. Although he does slip up once, bad communication and Patrick Bamford scores his 17th goal. Andre Ayew hits the crossbar instead of making it one all, so Leeds want to get a second to round it up. Woodman makes two remarkable saves though, but also Leeds goalkeeper Meslier plays his part. The Frenchman is unable to deny Connor Gallagher, who gets the Swans a deserved goal. But the Peacocks continue to search for a second, and Helder Costa's fourth goal proves to be a vital one. Swansea get an ultimate chance to get a point, but Meslier says no. Birmingham City get an easy opener against Wigan Athletic via Dan Crowley but Jamal Lowe's equalizer is disallowed because Lowe had strayed offside. Jeremy Bella is brought down in the box, resulting in Jutkevic's 15th goal and another win for Birmingham, even though Jan Mlakat gets the best goal of the game. Stunning. Charlie Austin only needs 5 minutes to put West Bromwich Albion in front against Barnsley but the Tykes should have equalized after 17 minutes. A header from Kamil Grozicki seals the fate of Barnsley, keeping Albion three points behind leaders Bristol City. Jacob Brown's goal doesn't threat anyone anymore. 2-1. Also Nottingham Forest skate through their duel with Luton Town. Lewis Graben gets his 18th goal, and even though Simon Sluga denies Amiobi, he still gets beaten by Nuno da Costa and Thiago Silva. Luton Town are one step away from a relegation battle. Preston can jump to 7th place and open the score via Alan Brown. But Connor Wickham finds the tiniest of gaps to squeeze the one all past Declan Rudd. Sheffield Wednesday scored the winner at the stroke of half time via Barry Bannon forcing Preston to forget about reaching the playoffs this year. Millwall and Reading play a mid-table duel at the Den, with Tom Bradshaw missing the best chance for the Lions, and Lucas Boyer scores the winning goal for the Royals. Reading move to 10th place with 47 points, because Derby County are no match for Middlesbrough. Paddy McNair scores early in the game, and Lucas Mecha makes it 2-0 after an hour. Borrow's defense is excellent today, and only Russian Hepburn Murphy pulls one back for Derby. Charlton vs Stoke is a thriller with lots of chances for both teams. Inns misses the first one, before Lyle Taylor makes it 1-0 for the Eddicks. But Stoke reply immediately with a header from Klukas. Macaulay Bond fires in an absolute belter to give the Eddicks a very important win because Dylan Phillips denies Stoke a point. Also Camille Grabara pulls off a magic save 
for Huddersfield in Cardiff before Sean Morrison has a corner kick wide. The only goal goes to Emil Smith-Rowe who gets the Terriers two win in a row and 36 points. And also Blackburn get a much needed win to jump over Stoke City. QPR are the victim and Stuart Downing is the hero of the day. Rovers 1, Rangers 0. See you next week. Peace.